Welcome to SonicQ Video Zero. Today we will review the installation contents and have a brief overview of the SonicQ ecosystem. SonicQ is Dynacord's sound system software. It is used to control our amplifiers and matrixes and integrate them with third-party gear. Download the latest version of SonicQ. At the time of this video, it is 1.2.4. Once you click confirm, the download will begin. The SonicQ installation package comes as a zip file. Unzip the folder and save the files to your computer. The installation package contains demo projects, the latest firmware for this release, important release notes and a readme file, Omnio firmware upload tool, and the SonicQ installer. Please read the release notes and the readme file. And for more information on the Omnio upload tool, check the links to our videos in the description below. We recommend saving all of these files to your computer. To install SonicQ, simply navigate to where you saved those files and double-click the SonicQ EXE file. Follow the on-screen instructions, read through and accept the terms and conditions. Next, we will choose the components that will be installed on our computer. The SonicQ app to design, tune, operate sound systems, and create control panels. The SonicQ control panel viewer app to operate customized control panels. TPC1 service tool for the touch panel, and DNS service for easy device discovery. We recommend installing all of them. Choose the installation location and click Install. If you don't want to run SonicU right away, uncheck the box and click Finish. Otherwise, SonicU will open. SonicU will install a shortcut on your desktop as well as SonicU control and the TPC1 control tool in your program list. To review the SonicQ ecosystem, let's look at a demo file. SonicQ is a system software that allows you to configure and operate your sound system from the speaker view. From the workspace, you can control your hardware and you can also create custom control panels. Let's look at the panel in this demo project. This one is created for an iPad. Control panels can be created as required for your project with multiple pages and access control. Let's build our own. Navigate to the side and click Panel. I will choose Desktop since that's what I am using to record this tutorial. Click Designer. You can create them however you want with images and text. Make them as eye-catching as you like. Control panels can be transferred to a TPC1 or iOS device in the network as well as exported for use in SonicQ control which I will do now. File, export. Now choose a folder and name for your panel. Let me close our demo project, navigate to my program list and open SonicQ control. I will find and open my file. SonicQ control is a panel view app your end user can use to control their system. And here is the custom panel we built. Now you understand the file contents for SonicQ and received a quick overview of the SonicQ ecosystem. For more information and tutorial videos, subscribe to our channel and check the links in the description below. And thanks for watching.